Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up the complete set of the Galar Challengers tins. These tins are exclusive to Walmart. I purchased them from my local Walmart. I actually found them back in the toy section for $19.87 each. Now my local Walmart just got these tins in stock don't ask me why, because the official release date was back in early August of 2020. Now each of these tins features an online TCG code card, a Black Star promo Pokemon V, and then four Pokemon booster packs. So like I said, I'll be opening up one of each of the Galar Challengers tins. One features Toxtricity V, Copperaja V, and then Poltiogeist V. So I'll open up each one individually, that way you can see the pull rates. Now I'll open up the Copperaja one first. So I'll set the other tins off to the side. And surprisingly, they were in my toy section, like I mentioned. And I would say, normally in the toy section of my local Walmart, they just have the check lane blister packs. And then sometimes they have the older collection boxes. I think there was a Guardians Rising one back there for quite a while. So there is a look at the tin. Now this is a skinnier tin than normal, about half the size of normal ones. But sometimes when the tins are exclusive to Walmart, they are a little bit smaller. So the online TCG code card and the Copperaja, and then the booster packs on the inside, Rebel Clash for sure. There's Rebel Clash, Rebel Clash, Sword and Shield, and Sun and Moon base set. So nothing too fantastic, but Rebel Clash, I'm looking for the Frost Moth, Secret Rare, or some type of boss's orders. I'll take the Rare Hollow, the Full Art, or the Rainbow Rare. So the Copperage of V here, SWSH030 would be the card number. Of course, there has been a Copperaja V box, and I have opened up that on my channel. Of course, metal type Pokemon, very popular, especially I like to pronounce it Zashian V. Combine that with Arceus, Dialga, and Polkia GX, and it is one powerful deck. There's the online TCG code card, and then the four booster packs. I wish the older pack there. Sun and Moon base set would have been something a little bit better. So from four packs, hoping for one good pull. Of course, I'll summarize my good pulls at the end of this video. And then if I get anything real spectacular, I'll head over to TCG Player and look at the price guide. So Decidueye on the Sun and Moon base set booster pack. This was the first set to include GX. Four and then two is the card trip to move that rare and reverse hollow to the back. Young Goose starts this one. Surskit, Wingle, Poplio, Growlithe, Lightning type energy, Nest Ball. I've used this card quite a bit in competitive play. Dartrix, Alolan Persian, reverse hollow of an Alolan Raticate, which would be an uncommon. And the final card would be a Butterfree, a card that I would get all the time opening up Sun and Moon base set booster packs. I've had lots of this set openings on my channel. I actually went to a GameStop clearance sale, found Sun and Moon base set for 99 cents a pack. Same thing for Evolutions. I bought so many of those one pack blisters. So you get the coin as well as the Black Star promo plus the booster pack, 99 cents. Sword and Shield base set booster pack now, the first set to include Pokemon V. It's actually one of my favorite Sword and Shields series sets. Yamper starts this one. Grookey, Kufant, Baltoy, Chincho, Lightning type energy, Dotler. Galarian Stunfisk, Reboot, Reverse Hall of a Mudsdale, is this a rare? Yes it is, a star at the bottom left hand corner, and the final card would be a Snorlax V. Snorlax, one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, all because of the Hollow in the Jungle set. 
So an excellent pull here. It made the 10, two more 10s to go. So hoping that each 10 will have at least a Pokemon V. I have pulled Snorlax V Max out from a pack before, a beautiful looking card. Those Pokemon V cards only worth a couple of dollars. Now on to what I would assume would be the newest set when these tins were released in Rebel Clash. Rillaboom VMAX on this one, Cinderace VMAX on the other one. Right color code card, can I go back to back getting an ultra rare or better? Like I said, Boss's Orders would be the card I'd like to pull most. Carl has actually been lucky enough to pull a Frost Moss Secret Rare from this set. Magikarp starts this one. Meditite. Milsery. Growlithe. Impidimp. There's a Water Type Energy. Galar Mine. Durant. Electrode. Reverse Hollow of a Halucha. This would be an uncommon. And the final card. There we go. A card that I have not pulled before. And Carla just walked into the room. Maybe she brought me some luck. A Phalanx V. And this would be a V Full Art. I'm thinking a Full Art card like this may be worth $5 or so. But as far as collecting goes, it is better than a Pokemon V. I do like those Full Art cards. I did the elbow cough for the live chat. A dab, right, Carla? Sure. All right. Final pack here in the first tin. A pretty good tin overall. Two more tins to open up. Rebel Clash here. Four and then two. All righty. Squovit. Looks like almost a ball pit there. That's Squovit's by. Applin. Timple. Sad looking Timple. Trubbish. Helioptile, Lightning Type Energy, Heatmore, Zatu, Tranquil, Reverse Hollow of a Dreepy. This would be a common. And the final card would be a Garbodor. Lots of competitive Garbodor cards out there. So I can summarize my pulls in tin number one. Three good cards to summarize. One rare Reverse Hollow in Mudsdale, a Pokemon V in Snorlax, and then a Phalanx V Full Art. Now I will quickly head over to Pokemon the price guide on TCG Player. I don't know if you heard Tuttle whining back there. Let's see, Rebel Clash, Phalanx V Full Art. Phalanx V Full Art, $5.89, so right about what I thought, and the most valuable cards in Rebel Clash, Frostmoth, Boss's Orders, Boss's Orders, and then in Sword and Shield base set, no way that Snorlax is worth more than $3. I can guarantee it. Snorlax here, Snorlax V, $1.23. So happy with the polls in tin number one. Let's go to tin number two, and I'll summarize, like I said, each tin individually, now I have to actually find the tins. Toxtricity V tin now. Let's see if I can just go right through it or if I need the scissors. Looks like I can barrel right through. All right. The tins look a lot better with the plastic wrap off of them. I do like how each tin has the featured Pokemon on the front of it. So again. Toxtricity V, the same four booster packs. The online TCG code card. I'll have to be careful with the tins because I want to just do a thumbnail with those tins opened already. There's the online TCG code card. Once I actually flip the camera down, there you go. I've actually done one video where I forgot to change the camera angle and I had to scrap that video because you couldn't see the cards or anything. Toxtricity V SWSH017 would be the card number. And then the four booster packs, exactly the same. Two Rebel Clash, one Sword and Shield, one Sun and Moon. So we'll open up these oldest to newest, starting with Sun and Moon base set, Incineroar on the cover artwork design. Tuttle has joined the party now. He's laying on the bed with Carla in here. This, of course, a spare bedroom here in my basement. 
it is nice to have my own studio instead of having to go over to my parents' house all the time. Torkoal starts this one. Litten. Stuffle. Eevee, an excellent ability on this card. Dupiter. Grass type energy. Pukamuku. Double colorless energy. A great special energy. Granbull. Reverse all of a beware, which is a rare. And the final card would be an Espeon GX. Now this card, even though it isn't in the standard format anymore, could have some value. Divide GX, put 10 damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. So it has potential there. I have used that in a deck before. Alrighty, now on to the newer set, Sword and Shield. There is a Snorlax VMAX on the cover artwork design. Wouldn't mind pulling that card to go with the Snorlax V. But so far, so good from these two tins. Alrighty. Unfortunately, this isn't like Vivid Voltage where you can get something good in that reverse hollow slot. Hoot Hoot starts this one. Score Bunny. Pikachu. Would love to pull Pikachu in any Vivid Voltage opening. Sinisty. Wooloo. Lightning type energy. Hitmonchan. Hitmonlee in the background. Great ball. They're great. Galarian Lanoon. Reverse all of a Galarian Ponyta. And the final card would be a Musharna. Now on to the newest set in this tin. Rebel Clash. Two Rebel Clash booster packs to open up. And then on to the Poltegeist V tin. So there would be the two Rebel Clash. Cinderace on this one. And that's the box I would open up next, Carla. Small but mighty. That's like me, right? Small but mighty. Can I open it? Sure. It's all about the baby Pokemon. You're cute. I know you like the baby Pokemon. Wingle starts this one. Natu. Barboach. Squovit. Applin. Darkness type energy. Burning scarf. I'm on fire. Indeedy. Skyla, a card that I used to get rare candy when I first jumped into the TCG. Reverse all of Noon Pheasant, another rare. And the final card would be a Zashian. I like this card quite a bit. Zashian GX, or Zashian V rather, one of my favorite Pokemon V. Alrighty. Inteleon V Max. And Carla's been playing a lot of the Pokemon TCG lately on my tablet. She's tried the Inteleon VMAX deck that I've built. It's more of a disruptive type of deck and had a peek at that code card. Maybe end tin number two with a bang. A rare hollow at the very least. All right. Final pack in tin number two. Starts with Volby, Dreepy, Magmar, Galarian Yamask, Surskit, Water Type Energy, Pelipper, Speed Lightning Energy, a great card here. When you attach this card from your hand to a Lightning Pokemon, draw two cards. Metapod, Reverse all of a Growlithe, a common. And the final card would be an Ice Q. So a rare holo to end it. Several cards to summarize. Carla just came back into the room. She has my iPad. She's going to play the Pokemon TCG, I'm sure. All right. Out of tin number two, was able to get a couple of rare reverse hollows. Un Pheasant. Beware. One rare hollow in the Ice Cube. Ice Cube. And then the best pull, the Espeon GX. I will take a look at this um, TCG player. I can't imagine it's worth more than $3. So Sun and Moon base set. Excuse the racket. Krell is just all over in here. Sun and Moon base set. Tuttles likes to play with the blanket. She's... You just ripped it. Tuttle ripped the blanket, so, boy, he's out of control. All right, Espeon. Ooh, Umbreon GX is the most valuable card in the set. I better go by name. Espeon GX is worth a big dollar eighty-eight, which is more than some of the newer Pokemon V cards. All right, so let's get on to the final ten. Of the three, so far so good from each of the 
tins. These would be, again, the Galar Challengers tins. They are exclusive, as far as I know, to Walmart. Alrighty. So, this final one would be Poltegeist. Again, front and back. A little bit thinner tin. And make sure, if you have not already, to subscribe and leave a like. And if you would like to support my channel even more, ways to do that are in the description of this video. Best thing to do to support it would be purchasing a signature card of mine off of eBay. And you can find those links in the description. Very flexible with prices on eBay. I would guess Carla already lost in battle. She's hitting herself over there. So Poltegeist V. SWSH021. Oh, Carla forgot to do something. I thought I was doing the coin flip and then I forgot to put an energy. Oh my. So Carla's really turn. concentrated. She thought she was doing the coin flip to choose who would go first during battle and she went to end turn and forgot to attach an energy. So that's not good. Turn one. All right, we'll go in the same order. I've had pretty good luck from these tins so far. Sogaleo on this one, Sun and Moon base set. Wouldn't mind pulling out that Umbreon GX, the Rainbow Rare. All right. So this one starts with Marini, Alolan Diglett, just starting to grow hair up there, Dupiter, Alolan Meowth, Growlithe, Psychic Type Energy, Poliwhirl, Breon. Timer Ball, Reverse Solo of a Sand Isle, a Common, and the rare would be a Masquerade. So not much in pack number one, tin number three. Hopefully my luck will improve here. Zamazenta on this one. Sword and Shield base set. So she and V, a card I'd love to pull out. I am a big fan of this set overall. First set to include the Pokemon V and VMAX, like that Snorlax V that I pulled earlier. Goldeen starts this one. Roselia, Ghastly, Pawniard, Sizzlipede, given the evil eye there, Lightning type energy, Lumberry, Aurora energy, one of the best special energy cards out right now. As long as this card is attached to your Pokemon, it provides every type of energy, but it provides only one energy at a time. You can attach this card to one of your Pokemon only if you discard another card from your hand. So essentially you can discard energy to the discard pile and then accelerate that energy back into play with some other type of card like a Turbo Patch. Double, don't even get me started on Champion's Path, Double V. There's a Pokemon Center Lady, a Reverse Solo Uncommon. And the final card would be a Sandaconda. So not much from this final tin. Two packs left to go to Revel Clash. And let me know in the comment section of this video or in the live chat, what Sword and Shield series set is your favorite? For me, it's Vivid Voltage, mainly because of the amazing rares. As a collector, I really do like those. And even as a competitive player, the possibilities, if you can actually set up one of the attacks is endless. Like on, I believe it is the Jirachi, you can just accelerate, what, seven energy into play. Bunnelby starts the third pack. Phantom, Dreepy, Galarian Farfetch'd, Hone Edge, Grass Type Energy, Palo Sand, Training Court, a decent stadium card once during each player's turn. That player may put a basic energy card from their discard pile into their hand. Lampant. Reverse solo of a rare in Galarian Perserker. And the final card would be an Unfezant. So at least I won't be shut out in this final tin. Still haven't got anything in that final spot, however. Here we have a Toxtricity. Cover artwork design pack. Can I end it? Look at that. What a, a bad way to end the opening. Yeah, trash. As Carla would say, I'll give away the code card. Maybe that will make this tin a little bit better for those watching. But overall, pretty solid pulls. Nothing real valuable, unfortunately. Hatena starts the final pack. Magikarp, an always powerful Pokemon. Metatite. Stunky. Grubbin. 
Lightning type energy. Lampant. Hawlucha. Morgrem. Reverse Hollow of a Sigilyph. Is this a rare? Yes, it is. Not bad. And the final card would be the card I just pulled in Reverse Hollow form, Galarian Perserker. So from tin number three, not much to summarize. Just two rare Reverse Hollows. I guess I can take a look at the price guide on TCG Player for the Black Star promo cards, the cards that came in the preview window of the tins. I'm assuming they will not be worth very much. So let's see here. Sword and Shield promo cards, I believe is what they are, right? Pulled you guys to be SWSH021. So let's sort them by number. Here we have Poltegeist would be a big $1.64. And then what would the other ones be? There's Poltegeist, Copperaja, which I might have to search like this. Copperaja V, $1.20. <whistles> and Toxtricity. I guess there hasn't been that many Black Star promo cards released. $1.05. So no value there, but that will conclude this opening. Thank you everyone for watching. Happy Pokemon card collecting. I hope you guys get more valuable pulls than what I got from these three tins. Hopefully your Walmart has tins like this and they actually get them in stock a little bit earlier than my Walmart did with these. So thanks again everyone for watching. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you have not already. And if you would like to support my channel even more, you'll find links in the description of this video for how to do that. So thank you again for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.